Okay, so we're here in a new game today. This is Complex Clickers. Now this is fairly similar to a Legacy Clickers in the sort of concept and aspect of the game. However, it is a little bit more new. So I thought I'd make a video on it and uh, kind of play the game a little bit. And as you might have read by the title, we have actually hatched ourselves one of the spirituals. And I'll go over it in a little bit. Um, however, I thought I'd just give the game a brief little rundown. So, as you can see on the side, there is obviously all of the uh, usual things. You've got your inventory, you've got rebirths, trading, index, your stats, store. You've got your codes and you've got your settings, so on and so forth. Um, and obviously that is really, really cool. There's also an upgrade shop down here. Now, I do actually have this maxed out already. But there's, all th there's things like faster hatch, uh, faster walk speed, look, storage, more equip, and uh, clicks multiplier as well, which is really cool. Um, there is the leaderboards that I'm not currently on right now, uh, but hopefully at some point we will be on them. Uh, there is obviously the uh, starter eggs, there is uh, an event egg here as well, which is the lunar egg, which we'll go over in a little bit. And coming through into the portal land, there is also three different areas, which is really cool. Um, obviously the most expensive one right now is 50,000 rebirths. And if you're going to here, it is actually really cool looking with all the black and the kind of like neon um, dark blue, which is really cool. And over here as well, you can claim some boosts, as you can see. Um, so you need things like 10 minutes time played, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 3 hours, 5 hours, 10 hours, so on and so forth, all the way up to 50, uh, 5 hours, and you get 40 boosts for that, which is really, really cool. Right now, I am working between the 3 hours and the 5 hours, so hopefully we can get that at some point, and I will claim those um, at some point as well when I need them. However, let's get on to the reason I am actually making this video, is that I have hatched myself a spiritual. Now, you might be wondering, what is a spiritual? And it's basically the secret pet of this game, or the secret rarity. Um, hold on real quick, I do actually need to do a rebirth at 5 million. Boom. Okay, so just rebirth, which is very nice. Um, but yeah, it is a spiritual. Now, this is like a starlight in Legacy Clickers, or a secret pet in Science Simulator. And if we're going ahead and come into my inventory, as you can see, this is what my inventory currently looks like. So we do have a couple epics down here. I am kind of saving these up to maybe get some alt accounts or something. Um, we do also have some legendaries, as you can see here. We have a lunar trio. Um, this is level one. Now this is the, I think it's the only legendary in the uh, lunar egg, and it does quite a nice amount of stats. Uh, as you can see, nearly 300 clicks and uh, just under 250 um, stars. Now stars are kind of like what you get uh, for rebirthing, so it would be basically gems in any other game. Uh, but yeah, really cool. We do also have some on the team that have been leveled up like so. And I also have this thing here, which is a ghostly. Now, I didn't know this was a thing in the game, um, obviously, because I am quite new to the game. But I believe this is kind of like the mythic out uh, from BGS and stuff like that. Um, so it's kind of like a little thing that you can, like a chance you can get on making the pet a little bit different. So really cool, as you can see, ghostly. And it does kind of make the pet look a little bit more transparent. Um, compared to the normal version, which is really cool. We did also get a corrupted gem um, and quickly coming into the shop over here uh, Into the pet shop as you can see it's not actually I don't think it's actually on here the corrupted gem um, But I got it basically from this the robux chance and I ended up buying one of these just to see if I was lucky enough to get the 10% chance um, I'm not too sure which pet I got but I did actually get the corrupted gem and stats wise it is really good I think it started out around 500 clicks or so so overall, it's actually a really good pet. However, it is nothing in comparison to this pet over here, which is the Lunar Hydra. And now this is level five right now, but this is my spiritual. And as you can see, it's doing two, nearly two and a half thousand clicks and stars on both of the stats. So absolutely insane. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and actually look how this thing looks. So we'll only equip all. Um, I'll like, go ahead and equip the Lunar Trio. I'll also go ahead and equip the ghostly one too, so we can just show them off first, and boom. So as you can see, these pets are actually very, very big, um, said they are only legendaries, but as you can see, this one on the left is the normal version, as you can see, it's not quite transparent, and on the right is the ghostly version, which is more or less completely tra transparent, apart from maybe some glow here and there. So it's actually really cool, and obviously it is a unique thing, I don't think I've actually seen a ghostly uh, being used as its own kind of like rarity sort of thing. So it is really cool. Um, we'll also show off the corrupted gem real quick. Um, this is my premium pet or Robux pet, how I like to call it. Um, really cool looking pet with the purple and the black. Um, obviously, it does look corrupted, so it's really cool. 
Uh, but then we also have the Lunar Hydra. Now this thing is fairly big, as you can see. Uh, it's obviously kind of like the uh, Lunar Trio with the uh, fireworks sort of things, but it's also got these really cool arms or wings or something coming off of it, uh, which looks really, really cool. And obviously I believe this is for the Chinese New Year, uh, which is why it's obviously all to do with Luna and stuff. Um, but yeah, really cool. So let's go ahead and equip my whole team again, just to see a sort of size comparison. And as you can see, overall it is very, very big. We do also have this one random New Year Fox, um, which is a rare, <laughs> it's level eight, uh, but obviously it's nothing in comparison to how big the rest of this stuff is. Um, so yeah, really cool overall. As you can see, I'm doing a ton of clicks right now as well. Um, in terms of rebirths, how much do I need for five million? Uh, we do actually need quite a lot. So obviously we're still gonna need to get some stronger pets and stuff. Um, and obviously I do need to try and make my way towards getting some uh, shiny Lunar Trios. So yeah, I will be grinding this game a little bit. Um, obviously I won't be grinding it as hard because I do also have other games to grind as well. Um, but yeah, overall really cool. There's a boost you can use as well, Luna, uh, well a code even, Luna to get some free boosts. And I do believe there is also some that come through over here in the chat. Um, as you can see this one says, join the Discord server to see hatches and codes. Um, so yeah, really cool overall. And I would like to see where this game goes. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.